Hi, I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. Welcome back to my channel where you will learn everything you ever wanted to or maybe didn't want to know about urology. Today, I'm going to be reacting to a Friends episode where Joey gets a kidney stone at the same time that Phoebe delivers her triplets. So I used to love Friends when I was younger. I watched it religiously and it's been a long time since I've seen this episode. So I'm really excited to watch it again and tell you about the medicine behind kidney stones and how we treat them. So the miracle of birth begins. And I... Hey, you okay? Ooh, something hurts. Oh, it's sympathy pains. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, I didn't know I cared that much. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Phoebe, I'm Dr. Herod. I'm going to be delivering your babies. Now, I want you to know you're going to be in good hands. I've been doing this for a long time. I'll be back in a minute to do your internal. In the meantime, just relax because everything here looks great. And also, I love Fonzie. <laughs> Did he just say he loves Fonzie? That's what it sounded like. All right. <laughs> So Joey is starting the beginning of what's called renal colic. And renal colic is caused essentially by stones that are in the urinary tract, typically either in the kidney, in the ureter, or close to the bladder. And you can have pain in the area that he's grabbing, which is called the flank, or you can have pain in the abdomen on the side where the kidney stone is, or into the groin, actually. This is a very common presentation of kidney stones. And why do people get kidney stones? Well, lots of reasons, but the number one reason is dehydration. So if you're not drinking enough fluids, you are at risk for getting kidney stones. Also, there are certain dietary factors that can put you at risk. So if you have a specific diet that might be high in protein or high in oxalate rich foods, those can cause you to have kidney stones. And also there are some metabolic factors or genetic factors that can cause some people to be more predisposed to kidney stones than others. Hey, you guys, look what I found in the kid shop. Oh, oh, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Mr. Tribbiani, I'm afraid you've got kidney stones. Uh, well, what else could it be? It's kidney stones. <laughs> or kidney stones. <laughs> That's really funny that he asked what else it could be. I've never actually had a patient ask me that, I think obviously for comedic purposes. But yeah, so he's holding a picture of an x-ray. Sometimes you can see kidney stones on abdominal x-rays, but not all the time. So typically we'll order what's called a CT scan without contrast to see if there is stones in the kidney and it catches almost all kidney stones. So it's a great first test for patients who have classic pain like he does. And the pain can be really, really severe. So uh, you saw how he kind of tried to push that guy and say, get up off the wheelchair because he really had some significant pain. Feeling a little better, sweetie? Yeah, maybe a little. Wish you hadn't seen me throw up. <laughs> me too. Hey, I just heard, what's up? Kidney stones. <laughs> Now, ordinarily, Mr. Trebbiani, we try to break the stones up with shock waves, but they're too close to the bladder now, which means we can either wait for you to pass them or else go up the urethra. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing is going up, okay? Up. Up is not an option. What's a urethra? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> You know, we use these terms like urethra all the time, and so many people don't even really understand what a urethra is. So for those of you who don't know, that's totally okay. A urethra is the tube where you pee from. So where your urine comes out from, that's the urethra. And so the doctor does talk about some options for treatment. So depending on the size of the stone, if it's less than five millimeters, we typically tell patients they have about a 50% chance of passing it on their own. And they can do that as long as their pain is well tolerated, they don't have an infection, and they're able to eat and drink. So not 
nausea and vomiting like he's describing is definitely a symptom that's associated with kidney stones. Treatment does depend on a few factors, so where the kidney stone is, how large it is, and if it's visible on certain types of x-rays. So yes, shockwave lithotripsy, which is non-invasive, where we actually apply shockwaves to the area of the kidney where the stone is to break it up into small pieces, is an option for certain types of stones. Other options are ureteroscopy, which does require you to go up a urethra. So we take a small camera and we go up the urethra after you're put to sleep. So I know he kind of freaks out but typically this is done under anesthesia so we go up the urethra with a camera no cuts or incisions on the belly or anything like that and we take a smaller camera and we go up into the ureter which is the tube that connects the kidney to the bladder and so in that tube we find the kidney stone and we take a small laser and we break it up into small pieces if the stone is small enough when we get up there we can even just take a basket and pull it out and it is also an option to just watch it and typically if we're going to watch a kidney stone we will try what's called medical expulsion therapy and with medical expulsion therapy we essentially can give you medications like Flomax which are alpha blockers which help relax the smooth muscle in the ureter and help you pass the stone so it looks like Joey is going to try to pass this on his own let's see what happens oh get these things out of me breathe breathe, breathe through the pain Ready? It's time to try peeing. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's almost time to try peeing. <laughs> now push. That's it. Obviously, they're being comedic that, you know, they're trying to emulate kind of labor pains. But in reality, kidney stones are extremely painful. I have a number of times gone down to the ER to see a patient with a kidney stone, and they are literally crawled up in a fetal position or just writhing on the stretcher in pain, and they are really, really painful. So it's not horribly inaccurate that he's in a lot of pain. And typically, they would give you a urinal or a strainer so that when you urinate, we can catch the stone if you pass it. But you wouldn't necessarily pass it in the ER as long as you're pain was controlled and you were feeling okay tolerating food and not feeling nauseous we would send you home and let you try to pass it on your own with follow-up with a urologist oh my god you did it man <laughs> would you like to see them they're so small <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. So yeah, again, they're trying to make it like a parody of pregnancy or delivery. And so these stones can be really, really small.